My name is Susan Harris. My son goes to North Shelby School. This is his fourth year going there. And it is an amazing school. We have an awesome teachers like Miss Bell. I'm killed to have her as my son's teacher. I do have major concerns about North Shelby School. I feel like the school is going downhill very quickly. We have lost about 20 staff members from North Shelby School this year alone. We're going to lose at least six more to maybe ten more at the end of the summer that are not going to return. That's over half of North Shelby School that we've lost in a year's time. It takes a very special person with a, very, with a passion to teach these kids and put them on the right path. And we're losing highly qualified teachers and replacing them with teachers that are not highly qualified. We're getting teachers that are coming in lateral entry that are not special education teachers. For instance, my son's teacher, she's a good person. She has a drama major. She's not a special education teacher. She's coming in lateral entry. She's one of the ones that may not come back to North Shelby next year. We need to start looking into why we're losing great teachers and associates and staff from North Shelby School. These kids deserve the best of the best. My son is severely autistic. He's ADHD. He's ADD. He's a ball of work. I mean, he's very difficult to manage, maintain, and teach. And this year they have focused primarily on his behavior because there have been so many changes in his classroom alone. He has gone through two teachers and not three TAs. The worst thing you can do for a child that is severely autistic is have change. We need to find a way to keep these teachers at North Shelby School. Something is going on. I keep hearing complaints that it's the administration. I also feel like if you put the wrong person in the wrong classroom, they're going to fail to begin with. The only reason I know how to handle an autistic child is because of my son. Before you, I would be totally lost and my child would get hurt. It takes a lot to know. I have tried to get other teachers that are very highly qualified to come from other schools back to North Shelby School. And I get the same thing. School's so broken. I don't want to get mixed up in the drama. I don't want the bad reputation. I'm begging you to have a full investigation to find out exactly what is going on in my son's school. He's eight years old. And now is the time to put him on the right path and keep him out of an institution when he grows older and have him at home or living in a facility to where he can get help and live by himself. I'm begging you, please, if he, when he does have a highly qualified teacher, which he has before, he is excelled. But if you keep putting teachers that are not highly qualified in my son's classroom, he's going to continue to backslide and spiral. These kids, I mean, my son could be one of these kids 15 years from now if we make the right decision. You bring my son in here now, he's going to tear the building down. And a lot of people are going to get hurt in the process. You've got to know what you're doing. So I'm begging you to work with the school officials, find out what's going on, up the standards as far as the teachers being hired for my son's school. That way they can help these kids instead of battling behavior after behavior after behavior. We've got to get those things under control.